What's up guys, the Gotham Collector here. Happy Thursday, and today I want to do something a little bit different. Um, I know I've been showing, like most of the stuff I've been showing is my Batman stuff, but um, I have a Blade collection as well, and I'm really proud of it. Um, it took me like almost three years to collect everything. Um, and I just wanted to share with you guys, I love it. Uh, I love Blade, I think it's a dope ass movie. Can't wait for the remake as well. But I've been a fan of it since I was a kid and it's always been my dream to collect all the weapons. Um, all of these are made by United Cutlery. Um, and for those of you who do not know what that company is, uh, they specialize in making high-end movie and game weapons. I have like Lord of the Rings from their company. I have the Blades of Chaos from them. Um, all of these, so they're pretty dope. Before I start, as always, thank you guys for everything, for the support, liking the videos, sharing the videos, commenting, and let's get started. And I'm wearing my gloves because this is like mirrored, like polished aluminum thing, and like I don't like touching it because it like stains it. And these are my medium, like I reviewed them before for my bat suit, but they were large. I got medium, so they fit like really better. Love them. But yeah, let's start. I'll just start in the order I bought. I bought them. I'll start with the sword, and because the sword is the thing that made me want to have the whole collection. So this is the sword. Look at this bad boy, dude. This shit is insane. Look how sharp that shit is. I love the Blade movies. They got the Vampire Ruins right here. And they do have like a fake version on eBay and Amazon. I would not recommend it. It's cheap as fuck. They sell them for like 40, 50 bucks. Not worth it. If you guys can find one of those, if you're a Blade fan, get it. Like for me, this is the dopest looking sword. Like from all the movies and games and whatever. This is my favorite sword. Look at this shit. United Cutlery 2000, dude. This is 20 years old. Look, even when I hold it with the... With my gloves, it gets like sweaty and shit. It's crazy. But yeah, 20 years old, dude. Pretty good condition. I love it. I love the vampire ruins right here. I wish it could open, but <laughs> whoops. So, the, I bought this for like 150 bucks. So, let's start with the leaves because they're dope as fuck, too. This one is the one that I bought first. This one is called the Bloodbath. And this one was used in Blade, the first part, in the club, and in Blade 2 in the beginning. So, let me pull it real quick. Metal. Super clean. 2000, 20 years is old as well, dude. Pristine condition. And has like a little mechanism. You, pr you press it, boom, and then locks like that. And then you just hold it like that. And it opens up and it's not going anywhere. Do it one more time. And look, it's crazy, dude. Like these are my babies, dude. Like my Batman shit and this shit, like boom. It's super dope. They, they sell like fake fakes of these they're not united cutlery but i do not recommend i do not recommend them so this is called called the bloodbath now this is the other one i bought the bloodbath for 120. this one is called the shredder i paid 170 for this one and even though it's not as a, in good condition as this one, it's still super rare to find. The bloodbath and the sword are the easiest ones you can find and they're still pretty hard to find. But like this one, this shit, boom. I gotta clean it up. I haven't touched them in like, in a minute. O2, so this one is 18 years old. Same mechanism, you just, boom, whoops. And this one says like blade 2 but i don't remember seeing it in blade 2 if you guys remember let me know but i've only seen this one in the first and the second movie and that's it but same mechanism boom of course commercials my bad 
um, demonstrate it one more time. Dope shit. Then I bought this one. This is called the Cyclone. And I'll take my glove off for this one so I can show you how it works. Cyclone, this is the most expensive one and it's super rare. Like I paid three, no, no, sorry, 230 for it, American dollars. Literally, as soon as it popped up, I bought it. Like this one is O2 as well. I have to clean them. And this is the button that releases it there. As you guys see, it's locked. So you press, boom, boom. And in order to open it, you gotta have your fingers like that. It's kind of weird like that, but boom. I, I don't remember seeing this one in the movie as well. So if you guys remember, let me know. Or demonstrate it one more time. Boom. Pretty dope shit. This will fuck someone up. <laughs> so let's this is the saber. This is from Blade Trinity. Um This is the saber from Blade Trinity where uh, Whistler made it for a blade and when you press the button there's like a wire that holds the blade and he was spinning it around. This actually does open and there is like a look tighten it like that. It's like a little rubber band thing and it stretches out but it's a pain to put it in after that so I'm not touching it. This button right here is only for display and this is the button that releases the thing right here. Up, yep, put it out. Oh, okay, now it's locked. And all of them are super nice, dude. This shit. This one is, yep, 04. The year that Blade Trinity came out. And actually, this little screw, you can tighten it and the blade will not come off. Um, okay, let's, yep, it's this way. Yeah. like that and this one is my most prized blade position of the whole collection because it literally took me like two years to find it dude like it literally i was googling it all the time on ebay everywhere trying to find it i couldn't find it one day it popped up and i fucking bought it dude i spent like 270 for this shit and it doesn't even have because the original one comes with like a display like this one the black with the red this seller was selling it only with the three sticks with the thigh wrap and i was fuck it i, I just bought it because <laughs> like i've never seen them online so it is super nice it was kind of beat up but um I'll wipe it down a little bit it was like beat up when i got it because they are that rare they're like 20 years old as well um but i bought some like metal polishing thing like a thing and i um Trying to bring it to life as much as possible. I think I did a pretty good job. There's still a couple like scratches and the other ones have them as well, but look at this shit. And this thing opens. But they're solid aluminum. Like they're not hollow or anything. But yeah, this is super dope. Um yeah, yeah. One day I want to take it to a jeweler and have them make me actual sterling silver ones and have them on display because these are aluminum. But that'll be later on. Yeah, it's on. And I have them all of them on my, all of them on my wall. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. That was the review of my blade weapons. Um, let me know what you think in the comment below. Uh, like, share with your friends. Thank you for the support all, bad fam, and until next time.